Hello and welcome back to another segment of the MCR. My name is Mac. With me this morning is TJ, and we're going to talk about what's good for America. Uh, the communist governor of California, who had been recalled but somehow managed to uh, retain his seat, uh, probably because they didn't have the strongest Cal uh, Republican who was who I love, the elder, but he was probably not the smallest or the not smallest, the strongest candidate in California in that in that governor's race. But uh, let's look at Gavin Newsom, the record. Uh, he's got the highest poverty rate in the nation. I thought Democrats were all for the working man and making things right. Now, this man has been governor for a number of years, and he has done nothing but make people poor with his silly ass decisions, his uh, climate change religion and his Marxist ideas. Uh, and you got anything to add to that? The very existence of him in office flies in the face of reason. So I it does. You're 100 percent right there. I, All right, let's move on to the highest gas taxes in the nation. Now, California already is going to get rid of electric vehicle, or I'm sorry, gas-powered vehicles of all sorts. They don't want you running a lawnmower. You're going to have to get an electric lawnmower, and I'm sure you'll have to have an electric trimmer and all the accoutrement that go with uh, maintaining your, your lawn and the outside of your house. Uh, but they've got the highest gas tax in the nation. And they're trying to switch everything over to electric vehicles. They they already have rolling blackouts. Uh, it seems to me this man is making life miserable for the uh, residents of California. And people are fleeing that state like crazy. My worry is they're taking their asinine policies with them. Uh, anything about the gas tax there? Gas tax. Uh, they certainly get rich off of it. Yeah, you know, here, you know. Here, here they are trying to tax morality, and I, I use that term loosely in that, you know, to them, uh, the more environmentally friendly you are, the, the more moral they'll say you are, you know. Right. Uh, exactly. uh, you, you, you were mentioned about the uh, various electric uh, uh, pieces of equipment and whatnot. I, I've, I've begun, I've just now started seeing uh, commercials for electric ride mowers. You know, riding lawnmowers. Yeah, they got electric riding lawnmowers now. How so, long are they, uh, do they claim they last? I, you know what? It was a commercial. I don't recall them saying. All I know is I saw the commercial and thought, you know, well, I just thought it figures. You know, if I figures. can find it, I'll put it in the either the comment section or here on the screen what those vehicles are going for and how long they last. I, I, it can be expensive to fill up my two and a half gallon. Uh, gasoline thing, but I'm sure and, these vehicles and, are not cost effective. And and by the way, I I do suspect slightly off topic, but I do suspect that they are uh, trying to uh, through regulation and uh, and you know anti anti business policies in general, they're trying to make it so that uh, at 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 some point having electrical just might be cheaper than gasoline powered, you know, be, well, that's because what of their, for, but they don't have the infrastructure to even do any of this stuff. It's well, a fantasy. You know what? That's, that's true. I, I wouldn't dispute that, but I do believe that's what they're trying to achieve. We'll make gasoline so expensive. They'll have to use electric. Well, that's been uh, president Biden's uh, agenda. He said as much, um, yeah. So also, and, and the reason I'm going to get to the reason why we're talking about California and Gavin Newsom here in just a moment. Uh, record record homelessness. Now they have good weather there in California for the most part, unless they're on fire or being flooded like they were a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but you got all these people in Los Angeles, in San Francisco, and they've turned these cities into hell holes because they're living all over the place, taking a, a dump in the street of San Francisco, 15 feet away from where people are eating their food. Uh, they pay $180,000 of a year to be a pooper scooper and spray down the sidewalk uh, because they, they don't address the problem of people pooping in the street. They just go ahead and pay, uh, spend all kind of money in a bankrupt state that, uh, so they can you know, spray down the sidewalk after... Uh, TJ or, or Mac uh, decide that's where we're going to go today. Um, so any any comments on that? 
Well, it's, it's just, uh, and you know, California being the, the, the example here, uh, allowing people to just set up a tent on the sidewalk uh, to the point where it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, uh, you walk, you, if, if I had, it, it's another one of those topics, I wouldn't have guessed it to be this bad five to 10 years ago. I mean, what society allows these types of uh, uh, shanties just to be constructed anywhere? In the I can't imagine, going to your point here, I can't imagine the number of people that I've had this conversation with over the years, I couldn't imagine it would ever happen, that they don't believe anything is going to happen. Oh, that'll never happen. Despite evidence that it is. Time and time again, I mean, we could do a, a, to- a show on the things we didn't think could ever happen, that it happened. Uh-huh. So I bring all that up because California, uh, or Gavin Newsom, wants to be president of the United States. He's going to challenge Joe Biden, it seems. Uh, because Joe, who knows if he'll even live to the next election. Uh, he, he's in such poor health, and that's evident to anyone who looks at the man. Also joining the campaign, and, and I find this an interesting thing, is Robert Kennedy Jr., the son of Robert Kennedy Sr., who was assassinated in Los Angeles. And by the way, uh, there I, I don't know if it's happened yet. I didn't, I didn't follow up on this story, but Sir Hans, Sir Hans, uh, the assassin of uh, Mr. Kennedy's father was uh, he was approved for parole. And I hadn't heard if Gavin Newsom was going to let him out yet. So. Uh, well, sorry, go ahead. You, you you bring you bring up uh, what was it, Robert F. Kennedy, Jr. Right. OK. I'm very interested. He's running as a Democrat. So well, right off the bat, else, yeah. my my immediate concern is. You know, does does he hold the the uh, the expected Democrat uh, uh, positions on things such as abortion, such as guns? This is something that I feel need to get to the bottom of very quickly. Though yeah, well, I am, they're going to hate him because he is very anti-vaxer. I know, I know, and uh, that's his, that's that's what he's going to. He's he's exposing. These pharmaceutical companies and these governors, like the one we have here in Michigan, for what they did. I, I got mixed feelings on this because, to me, him winning isn't outside the the realm of possibilities. No, not at all. He he, he has. I feel this is someone who has a legitimate, uh, a legitimate. He could legitimately draw from the middle. The 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 absolutely. The, the vaunted middle. I well, mean, I he's could... got the Kennedy legacy, and hell, some people might want him to run so they can get shot in the head. You, you, you want to know something? There are those nuts and, out and, there. And and, and 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 I and maybe you'll disagree with me on this, but I could almost see center right people voting for him instead of a rhino. And 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 would you be hard pressed to fault them? That's correct. You know, I, mean, I don't know where he stands on abortion. He, he his family, they, they're Roman Catholics. Uh, so, but, you, that, you know, that doesn't mean anything to some people, their their faith or their in this case, I would say lack of faith. But the Catholic Church uh, uh, sees abortion as an intrinsic evil. I don't know where uh, RFK Jr. stands on that. I guess, well, time will tell. But well, and that's why like, I said we'd have to get to the bottom of that very quickly. Yeah, and but. we will in time as as it becomes more evident who's going to become a front runner. You know, they want they want rid of Joe on some level, although he's a useful idiot. But Gavin Newsom thinks what's good in California, all the things we talked about would be good for America. So I ask anybody watching, would any of those things be good for your state? High property, uh, a poverty rate. Is that good for Michigan? Would uh, high gas, uh, the highest gas taxes in, in the country, would that be good for Florida or Tennessee or Georgia, which is a very confused state as far as I'm concerned. Uh, do we need record homelessness? And we probably number two in that group is in New York, uh, Chicago, all you know, the other Democrat uh, shitholes. 
and I, and I use that word it, it, because it's uh, I've been to these cities and I, I know what they are and that's what they are. I'm not going to spin it. If you don't like it too, too bad, uh, turn this channel off. Don't ever watch this again because you're probably a snowflake if that hurts your little feelings. But uh, I don't think any of these Democrats are good for America, Mr. Kennedy included. Now, he is. He, I support his cause in trying to expose these people for what they did. And we know what they did. We're not going to get into it because we'll get a strike if we say if we speak the truth here. But uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to make 20, 2024 more interesting than I thought it was going to be. And I, and I thought it was going to be interesting anyway with them trying to state by state try to put Donald Trump in prison. Well, well, here, here's here's the question. When they say a lot of times elections, you're picking the lesser of two evils. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Mitt Romney. Boy, that's that's probably a toss up because I, yeah. I do I do believe this about uh, Robert Kennedy Jr., because I have listened to him speak. And while we, we don't agree on many things, I, I do believe he has a level of integrity, certainly yeah. a, a level that Mitt Romney does not have. Uh, in a level that uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris don't have. I would tell you it's a level that uh, Mitch McConnell doesn't have. Chuck Schumer yeah. certainly doesn't have it. He's threatened Supreme Court justices and nothing happened. Uh, Democrats well, like to say uh, no one's above the law. They should add except them. Did him, him, him entering into the fray uh, leads to s some concerning possibilities for sure uh well i fear for the man's life that the democrats may kill him and set it up to you know they'll put a maga hat on their assassin yeah yeah he, he you know he could be the you know you know how pat be wearing this hat was, today yeah you know how pat buchanan was to the right he could be that to the left yes you know so, i agree um, so i'd like the audience and uh, to ponder that question what's good for america not many out there, I'm afraid, but uh, you know I, I have every plan to support Donald Trump if they don't put him in prison. Which, if you don't think it's possible, you were mistaken. I believe that can happen when they have rigged juries and rigged judges. They went judge shopping for just the right judge in the prosecution of Donald Trump in New York City. So, any further comments? Nope. Okay. Nope. With that, we'll call it a wrap. And as we always say, be safe. Watch your six and don't tread on me.